Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. We're going to continue with my China Glaze collection and I'm going to look through some neutrals today um, and, the, and the crackle so we can have a, look, a quick look at that. I know I've shown you that before. Um, but before we start, on my nails is this lovely colour shifting full coverage glitter. I've actually got one coat of it over the top of um, a Sally Hansen khaki, it's called Spruce Up, um, like a khaki colour. But this is Fairy Wings and it's from a new UK brand um, called Pretty Perfect Polish, yeah, Pretty Perfect Polish. Um, and I will link her, that's Megan, and I'm going to link her details down below so you can find them down below. That's Fairy Wings and it's a really, really pretty colour shifting from green to purple. You can see that. And I managed to dink it here on both, on both of my little fingers and this one here. So excuse the uh, damage. I, that's just me not waiting for it to dry before I take a photograph for Instagram but there you go <laughs> right let's get back to the uh, China Glaze neutrals so the first one that I want to show you is from last year's fall collection and this is change your altitude can we see that Yeah, change your altitude and it's a really lovely very very pale cement grey with I would say a tiny tiny drop of uh, taupey kind of colour in there so taupe and grey uh, predominantly grey but I just I wore this um, end of end of last year where are we now September middle of September um, yeah, I'm having, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment. I had a, I thought I had a doctor's appointment this morning, turned up at the surgery and they told me no, it's tomorrow. So I was a day early um, and I think that's just thrown me for the rest of the day. But anyway, that's change your, change your altitude. I'm usually late for everything. So being a day early was just unheard of. Um, and that's it on the swatch wheel. So it's just a lovely pale cement grey very opaque the next one here I could have put this in the blue category actually but to me it is a, a, a metallic blue but there's a lot of grey in there as well and this is one of the magnetic polishes um, so I bought it thinking that there would be a magnet in the top but you have to use a separate magnet and I've just looked for mine and I can't find it Oops, I'll just move that then. Yeah, I can't find it anywhere. It's around somewhere because I was going to see how the magnet worked with this. But just on its own, it's quite a nice metallic blue. So that's Pull Me Close and it's China Glaze Magnetic Polish. The next one I picked up um, cheap from TK Maxx and I think it was even further reduced and it's this dusky rose mauve colour that's called Fifth Avenue and it's from the Spring 2013 collection. Yeah, I've not worn this one yet but I'm actually quite looking forward to it. That's it on the nail. So a really nice autumn shade actually I like that one even though it's from the spring collection to me it looks more like a an autumn color the next one is also from the great outdoors collection so this is last year fall um, <clears throat> fall collection and this is cabin fever there was a couple of duochromes I did get the other one actually which was called gone glamping which we'll look at in the greens because it's more of a green hue to it. But this is, um, it's kind of coppery, gold, bit of green, bit of pink in there. And this is what it looks like on its own in two coats. So very autumnal 
shades in there and let's just do a quick I did um, I didn't like that I'm not I'm just not letting put nail polish dry at the moment uh, I think I've been I've, I've been jinxed by the um, fairy dust mentioning fairy dust but I just want to put this over black um, because duochromes work pretty well in one coat over black if you don't want to waste them. There's a few brush strokes there but they did melt away on this one so that's it over black and that's it on its own. On its own and over black so you get a much stronger duochrome I think over the black so that's cabin fever and this next one here is a new one this is heroin chic from this year's fall collection so the rebel collection and this is a lovely greyish brown base with loads of like reddish copperish glitters which you can see you can see quite well there on the nail I've worn this and I, and I really like this one so that's heroin chic and I just want to show you because I thought these two are quite similar in the bottle this is this is heroin chic and this is wood this is Would You Wanna from last year's, so another one from the Great Outdoors collection. Um, but actually, this one is a bit more sil silvery brown, and this one is more of a greyish brown. So, yeah, similar, but not quite. And on the nail, this one is Heroin Chic, and this one is Would You Wanna. So you can see there's a lot more brown in this one and actually this is quite a bit more opaque you can get this opaque in one in one coat Ooh, fascinated there by this one <laughs> so heroin chic and would you wanna and that's the last one that I wanted to show you which is black mesh and I know a lot of brands have crackle um, yeah crackle like you know breaking up into kind of shard pattern nail polish I can't speak today what is wrong with me I think it's because I'm hungry I've not eaten today do you ever get that where you just can't concentrate and now there's somebody at the door God, that's so annoying you know it's because I work from home it's like everybody on the street thinks it's okay for the male to come here when they're not around but um, anyway that was a, a parcel for the neighbour um, okay, back to this crackle, which is um, black mesh. And I've heard a few people say that a lot of the crackle polishes from different brands don't uh, don't work too well. But this one's worked every single time that I've used it. Um, and I'll show you again. So let's go over. Uh, let's go over that sure bright. I think that'll be. A good contrast um, and I'm usually quite sloppy with this so it's just it's covering it lightly with one coat and immediately you can start to see the crackle effect and eventually it separates so that it looks looks like that but yeah, we can see that separating. Now, I actually quite like that, those two together. Hmm. So that's the crackle and that sure bright. Yeah, I might wear those two together as a manicure soon. Yeah, it slowly breaks apart so it ends up looking more like this. Actually, I wish it stayed like that. I prefer it like that. Uh, okay, that's enough of me rambling. That's my 
China Glaze Neutral-ish Toned Polishes. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and see if I can find the neighbour and uh, give him his post. <laughs> uh, next up will be the China Glaze Pinks and then I think I'll finish with the Greens because that's going to be a much bigger video. Uh, but yeah, let me know um, if you've got any favourite China Glaze neutral shades. I do like neutral and nude shades, um, particularly in the autumn and in the new year and any any time of year really, just as a kind of palette cleanser from the brighter, sparkly colours. Um, yeah, so that's it from me. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.